Hey, welcome back to Blasphemous. So last time we decided to go through a new area and coincidentally I think we picked the worst one of all of the options we had. We had four paths to choose and I actually went underneath to a fucking place that is full of boomerang throwing guys and some sadists with whips and a lot of bells and some giant shield guys that keep banging on the walls but yeah we decided to go back and maybe try an easier area instead of the what is it called instead of the mountains of the endless dusk and the jondo the first area i decided to go was the jondo which yeah, kind of reminds me of Blightel. Not in looks, not in not in enemies, but maybe in how annoying it can be. Especially early game and in how we are descending to get to that area. So yeah, I think that's the probably one of the the worst areas I could pick to go early game but or maybe not maybe I'm just maybe I'm just bad at this game but yeah let's just go back and try a different one shall we and we can leave this one for later we can actually take the chance that we are back here to try and upgrade an ability ah maybe hmm. i don't think we can actually because i think he needs 2000 tiers and now i have i have 1600 so let's kill some other guys and then later we can come back here. Let me just leave some collectibles. We got two more. Cool. Let's fill these catacombs with bones. Bones of sacred people. Of notorious people. Let me just check. The... What is it called? The... The... Mea Culpa Shrine, I think. Okay, I need 2,000, so yeah, we'll be back shortly to upgrade this. And I keep pressing the wrong buttons. For some reason, I was pressing square to, <laughs> to try and dash. Okay, but where should we go first? Hmm. I, I don't know why, but I, I get the impression that the... What was it called? The Valley of... Where the, where the, olive, where the olive trees wither, right? I think that's the name. I have the impression that that area is going to be a bit tough. Maybe it's the it's the name. It looks it sounds like a relentless place because olive trees are very very resilient and if they are withering that doesn't sound nice. Coincidentally my last name actually means olive tree. My last name is Oliveira, which means olive tree. But that's neither here or there. Fuck. Okay, at least we can jump over these guys. I shouldn't be rushing. I thought I would learn my lesson after the last episode where I 
kept trying to rush things and yeah I got crushed quite a bit of times uh, I think that's another another warning that I should maybe not be going that place because most of the most of the enemies would take a third or half my health oh shit while these guys not so much actually fuck it don't know why I'm bothering let's just keep them and move on ahead yeah I'm gonna pick this place for some reason the mercy dreams for some reason it looks like the right way to go or at least the most accessible way to go first mm, hi hello mm, hello sorry to bother you okay uh, cleanse your guilt in exchange for 200 tears oh so this is the thing that the tutorial was talking about where i need to find a place where i can cleanse my guilt and get back my fragments so i think that's it so yeah i don't i don't think i'm gonna be going back that place jondo i don't think i'm gonna be going back to jondo anytime soon so let's just cleanse our cleanse our guilt uh, i already forgot the things for my memory sucks okay i am rid of guilt thank you very much have a nice day okay maybe here I, I know that to the left is the oh hello candle guy oh what the fuck you strong am i going the right place <laughs> maybe not this guy's this guy's pretty strong Bye. Okay. Yo, leave me alone. Can I? Can I? Yo, take one more step. Can you just? <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Oh fuck. Anyway, let's try and do this again. Ooh. Stop, stop it. Okay. Cool. Oh, it's a shortcut? Cool. It's a shortcut to the to the preview. Preview, pre preview. I think Predu means pray to God. I think that's what he means. Ooh! Okay. Oh, so, so that's those platforms I just. If you want to avoid those guys. Okay, there's another shortcut down there. Can you just fall there, please? What the fuck? I wonder if they they keep the damage they took from before. 
whenever we leave an area. I don't think so, but just to be safe, let's go back and get our flasks back. Excuse me, excuse me. Am I am I going? I think I'm going the wrong place. Yep. For sure I'm going through the wrong place. Nice. I think it's down here. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna try and avoid these guys. Not sure if I can. Excuse me. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck. They hit pretty hard. Ah, fuck. That's not fair. <laughs> uh. Ooh, a chest. And there's a gate here. Huh, I see. I see you. And I think I know what's gonna happen when I open the chest. Probably it's gonna close and something will jump down and try and attack me. And... I don't think I'm ready for this. Uh. So I cannot dodge through. Okay. What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? There's a huge thing over there. And I don't think I can hit it. Excuse me. Yo, don't poke me with that lens. Can you, can you please not? Can you, can you just, please? Cool. Yo. Nice. Got another angel. Forgot the name. Forgot what they are called, but... And we got another shortcut. Coolio. Nice. Hey. Oh shit. Fuck you. This guy fucking sucks. Uh, we got Surfcoat Vertebra of Seeker, the Brawl Master. Mm, Zeker or the Zyker, the, the brewmaster, gave ignoble fame to his monastery by brewing the most famous beer in the kingdom. One night, the flames of a fire raised his legend to the heavens. The flames of fire raised his legend to the heavens. Does that mean that he got burned and rose to, to heaven because of that? Or does it mean that his 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 brew his his spear is his legend and he got burned and rose to heaven? Who knows? Who knows? I do not know. Let's just. Let's try go back there to the chest before I forget because I was ready to forget. My memory is not very good. Uh, 
Sigidig, uh, uh, what? I knew it. I knew it. Of course I knew it. Okay, almost there. Yep. Yeah. I'm a genius. I mean, that was pretty obvious, but... Ooh! Before I forget again, it's the... Uh, uh, Sigiriga or Sigwili... Sigwiriga. To your eyes like, like stars. Breathe him to the night skies. Overwhelms the penitent one with the... With the fury of the righteous, increasing the speed of his attacks for some time. There is a small girl with two star-like eyes, who, when she looks at me, makes me stay by her side. They say she's a saint, came down from the sky. Do not cry, my child, or I'll get lost on the way. That doesn't rhyme. Anyway. What is it that tolls the bells in the distance? What is it that cries on her face, eyes, star-like? Hmm. Seguiriga. In my language, at least, that... My language, at least, that that those two dots above the U. It means that the pronunciation should be gi segi segi i segi riga. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't. S I'm not sure what's the origin of the the word, and I'm not sure what it means. Let's let's let us. Let us search, shall we? As it is tradition on these videos for me to be searching. Okay, so it looks like it's Italian, and the first result is actually <laughs> a, a blasphemous guide for the collectible, so. Not sure what he means. Maybe it's the name of the of the girl. Not sure. Not sure. That's the question. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Siguidias. Or the Spanish pronunciation, Seguirias, uh, or Seguirias, 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 are a form of flamenco music in the Cantejondo category. Oh, Cantejondo. Can you pronounce it for me? No? Just a second.
Seguiría. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. I was really curious about this. Seguiría. Oh fuck. Uh, I hate these guys, honestly. Just a second. Ooh, what is this? Can can you not? Fuck. That's not fair. How the hell can he do that? He's out of the screen. Oh, okay. Is this a shop? Hi. Hello. What's that? It's a... Looks like an... Kind of looks like an old man. Or an old, old woman. Carrying... Uh, carrying a pack full of... Gold items. Of the miracle, penitent one. Okay. Do not be surprised to find this merchant here. This ancient occupation requires me to be wherever I can obtain rewarding benefits. Hmm. Call me Candelaria. Candelaria. For what I sell would make your eyes light up like the high bonfires. <laughs> okay. Candelaria. Candelaria. I will not ask you for any money whatsoever. Those really? forbidden tears you shed will oh, be more sure. than enough for me. Oh, of course. Cast your darkened eyes over these valuable treasures. Hmm. Let us be captives of Okay. Behold what I present to you. Though a small piece, its great power should not be underestimated. <laughs> what is it? Trust me, for I have the blood of kings on the palm of my hand. What? What the fuck? Key to the chamber of the eldest brother. Oh, so that's right at the start of the game. A forbidden key that was guarded by the eldest brother of the brotherhood but was eventually lost, thus forever sealing the chamber it opened. Interesting. What I am offering you here is as lustrous as the first star of the night. Okay. And may my eyes be blinded if I'm lying. Hollow Pearl. Empty, tarnished sphere. There is no trace of of what of na nacre 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 left, but it retains just a hint of bluish sheen. It creates fervor when destroying surrounding objects. When destroying surrounding objects. Okay, so every time we we break something, we're gonna get fervor. Cool. And. What I am offering you here is as lustrous as the first, and may my eyes be blinded if I... Hmm. Moss preserved in glass, minute jar filled with moss, the tiny white flowers that shimmer inside can grant some protection against... Against what? Uh, to toxins, okay, toxins. <laughs> Again. This, this, this font, this kind of hard term for me to, to, to read. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't know if I should, should I? I almost have 2000 tears. Do I need the key right now? This is kind of interesting, but it's maybe not that necessary because we don't use our powers that much and against toxins I, I guess this will be useful pretty soon maybe but I don't think it takes a lot of time to to get 
2000 tiers. So I think I'm gonna just, for now, I'm gonna save up to 2000 tiers so I can go back and upgrade my, upgrade the Mia Copa. So we can get that. I actually forgot the, the last, the last movement we, we need to, to unblock with 2000 tiers. But yeah, let's, let's save up for now. And what's down here? Let me just take a peek. Okay, there's more. More traps. Great. Fucking great. It's great, mate. Oh, I, I, I saw that. I knew that was there. Because why the fuck would you have some platform with candles up here? Oh, hi. What is this? Small bead of bad wax. Wax. Wax? Wax? Wax. A tiny pebble of melted wax. Of a muted crimson. Prayers muttered in its presence, slightly strengthened the vi vitality of the wearer. Okay. Let me see. Let me read the lore first. Uh, the abbey ceased to be a quiet place. Cries of pain coming from every cell pierced the walls. The old friar knew he would be next, so he got up from this this cot uh, where he had been ha huddled and glanced at the few items that lay on his table, most of them mementos from his life before joining the order. He wanted to be kissed by the miracle while immersed in those gentle thoughts, triggering most memories where some small house of wax now covered in dust that he used to enlarge by Picking up wax from the candles during processions. An old friar. So we keep hearing about this order. Uh, oh, there's also a brotherhood. Uh, I think I'm mixing things up. But uh, I'm guessing we'll probably find out about them, about them or. We'll reach them or we'll meet some people from the Order and the Brotherhood. Okay, the those cool strengthened defense. The Uvula. Okay, I have a chance of earning t I, 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 There's not a, a lot of objects to break. So I think I'm gonna equip the wax. Because there's more, more, more health. Wait, what's that? I forgot to check. Yo, oh, it's just, it's just a statue with a pool of blood, of course, as any other statue in this game. Cool. Fucking great. Before I die, let me just go and. Sit at the Purdue. <sighs> okay. Let's just gather the last 24 tiers that we need so we can get some upgrades in hello oh it looks like those those floating things don't respawn which is fucking great it's amazing i fucking hate them and let's start to make our way back I wonder if there's any... We should get a shortcut pretty soon, right? I hope so, because... It's not... It's 
not great to having to go back all this way just to upgrade. But at the same time it's not that far. Or maybe we should maybe we will find a new shrine. Fuck. Fuck you. Stop that. For fuck's sake. I don't think we can block that. I wish we could. But maybe it makes sense. Okay, that way is still blocked. But... Let's get back here. I love the animation on those. On those those enemies with the with the huge pillar on their backs. When they turn around, it looks very very I don't know how to say it, but it looks very, very... Very realistic? I don't know, they, they make a good use of the sprites to make them they look 3D, even though we know they are not 3D. When they turn around, it kind of looks... It gives that... that it gives us that depth perception, which is pretty fucking cool. Okay. Oh yeah, the fourth combo finisher. Oh, I need to be hitting something, which makes sense that I would need to be hitting something to make a combo because yeah, it's a combo after all. I wonder when I wonder when we're gonna get the second level of the Mea Koopa. Because maybe it's when we defeat a boss. I think that's when the the weapon got stronger, right? We uh, up until this point we only actually defeated the first the first boss, the the tutorial boss. I was thinking I would be meeting another boss pretty soon, but maybe we are actually. To be fair, we haven't gone very far on this on these areas still. We got that area that we just passed through, which is the wasteland of the burial church churches, which is kind of like a this whole area here, the, the wasteland, is more like a bridge or a link between areas rather than a proper rather than a proper standalone area where we would expect to have a a boss. But those I guess maybe terminal areas are good ways to, to describe it those other areas such as the one we are going through right now we're gonna we are going through now or we're gonna get through now look they seem like an area that would have a boss especially because it's it kind of sounds like it's a one of those areas that we sh we we were warned that we needed to go by by what was his name? Del Gracias. I think one of the sinners should be around here. Okay. And yeah. 
I think I'm gonna be finishing this episode here right now. I know it's a shorter episode, but I'm actually very tired. <laughs> I I've been I've been streaming all day and I've been recording this all the all those episodes up to this point of blasphemous I actually recorded in one sitting, so my voice is starting to <laughs> to get very low and I'm gonna I'm starting to get a sore throat so it's hard to talk and I think it's better to take a rest before we continue just so I don't end up making boring commentary because I'm fucking tired but anyway thank you very much for watching it means a lot to me and consider subscribing or consider consider liking if you if you like the video and yeah hope to see you next time Bye.